2022 has been one of the hottest years on record and that heat has exacerbated an ongoing crisis in the U.S. water scarcity. Anne-Marie Green has more on this. Anne-Marie? Yeah, a big time, Errol. Right now, in fact, more than 50% of the United States is covered by drought. And that includes the Southwest, which has been hit in its harshest multi-year drought in over a thousand years, along with the Great Plains. Now, the drought there has impacted everything from food supplies to energy levels, and it's also affecting the water sources that we rely on like the Colorado River, which supports roughly one in 10 Americans, but not just the Colorado River. Um, the river is rapidly losing water. Two of Colorado River's largest reservoirs, Lake Mead and Lake Powell, supply water and power to residents and reach their lowest levels ever this year. The UN warned this summer that both could reach dead pool status. What does that mean? It means that they could not be used for hydroelectric power plants or to provide ample water. And then there is the Mississippi River. Uh, the Mississippi River has a watershed that covers 41% of the U.S., with millions relying on it for water and economic activity. Because of climate change, it also reached a record low in November. Plus, pollution has made parts of it virtually unusable for drinking water. Now, the crisis is already impacting nearly 20% of California's urban water agencies reported that they have, are seeing significant water shortages in the next few months. Some towns across California have already run out of water, leaving residents to import bottled water. And more of the U.S. could see this reality, too. Uh, and by uh, 2071, nearly half of the freshwater basins in the United States will not be able to meet monthly water demand. And according to a U.S. Forest Service study, so next week, users of the Colorado River, including seven U U.S. states, 30 Native American tribes, and Mexico, they're going to meet to discuss usage cuts in order to preserve remaining water supplies. It's a big issue, Errol. This is crucial in that last stat that you just pulled up, you know, within, what, 50 years, 50% of uh, places won't be able to give us the fresh water we need, and it's a real wake-up call as yeah. well. Yeah. Anne-Marie, thank you.